Hey everybody, it's Robin and welcome to the Robin's Nest. Today on my channel, we're going to be making this absolutely adorable and super yummy marshmallow mummy cake. Now, I came up with this idea when a subscriber had suggested that I try out the really popular marshmallow spiderweb cake technique. And I absolutely love this concept. It looks so much fun, but I thought, how can I kick it up a notch? So I thought, oh, a mummy cake would be perfect. It would be so cute. I love it. So that's what we're going to be making today. And be sure to keep tuning in guys because I have loads of great Halloween caking ideas planned for you guys all month long. Now let's get into it. So I don't know about you guys, but when I think about marshmallows, I think about chocolate and I think about s'mores. So that's what we're going to go for on the inside of this cake today. So to cover the chocolate aspect, I've baked up three six inch chocolate cake layers and we're going to trim these down and level these out and get them ready for stacking and filling. All right, so we've covered the chocolate aspect of our s'mores cake with the cake sponge itself. Now it's on to the yummy part, the fillings. So we have a little bit of marshmallow on the outside of our cake, but that's not enough. I want a whole lot more. So we're gonna add it into the filling as well. So I've mixed up a little bit of homemade marshmallow cream, and you can find that recipe in the description box below. And we're gonna use that as our first cake layer. Then we're gonna top that with a little bit of this crunchy graham cracker crumble, which I've added a little bit of melted butter to because it's butter and it tastes yummy, but it's also going to help make this a little bit easier and a little less messy to work with. So I'm just going to start by adding a little dollop of buttercream to our cake board and I'm just using some American buttercream. We're going to attach our first cake layer. Now, because our marshmallow is homemade, it is a little bit on the runny side, so you're not gonna wanna just add that to your cake layer because it's gonna make things slide around. So we're gonna create a dam with our American buttercream all around the outside of our cake layer, and then we're gonna add our marshmallow filling, then our graham cracker crumbs, and then our next layer of cake. And then you're just gonna repeat each of these steps for however many cake layers you choose to make. So once you finish filling your layers, that means it's time for your crumb coat. Now, if you're new to cake decorating and you're not sure what that means, it's just a term that is used for the thin first layer of icing that is usually put on a cake to seal in all the crumbs. And I'm just gonna be applying mine using a small offset spatula, and I'm gonna start at the top, working my way down to the bottom, and when I'm finished and I have everything nice and smooth, I'm gonna pop it in the fridge to chill for about 20 or 30 minutes. All right, so we still have another coat of icing to do, but while we're waiting for our first one to chill, we're gonna start working on some of our fondant decorations. So as you can see, I have a little bit of white, a little bit of black, and a little bit of this slimy, limey green color, which I thought was a really great undead color, and the perfect color to complement the purple in our mummy. So I'm gonna be using these colors along with this stencil to create her pretty little undead eyes, and we're also gonna make a cute little green bow to match too.
So I finished with my decorations. They were so simple and they turned out so freaking cute. I cannot wait to see them on this cake when it's finished. So I'm gonna get my final coat of icing done. We're gonna get our cake off to the fridge for another quick chill. And when we come back, we are gonna get this cake wrapped up and making marshmallowy sticky mess. All right guys, it's time to have some messy fun. My cake is now fully chilled and I've already melted down approximately a half of a bag of marshmallows and it is now cool to the touch. So we're just gonna get right in there with our bare hands and have some fun and make a mess. And we're gonna drape it all over the cake until we're either one, happy with how it looks, or two, I run out of marshmallow, whichever happens first, so we'll have to see. All right, so I've got my wet paper towels on the ready, just in case I do make a big mess. And we're just gonna start by taking a little bit out of our bowl. And we're gonna grab it with our fingers. Mm -hmm. And we're just gonna just stretch it and drape it all around the cake. It's really sticky, <laughs> but that looks super cool. All right guys, this is super messy, but you're just gonna continue to keep draping it over your cake like so. Now, if you cut halfway through and you find that your marshmallow starts to get a little bit too sticky and it's not very pliable, you can just pop that back in the microwave or back on your double boiler, warm it up once again, and then you'll be able to continue draping it once again. Well guys, here she is. Our first cake of the Halloween season is finally complete and I could not be more pleased with how it turned out. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this cake was super fun to make, so for all you parents at home, this would be a great project to share with your kids. Now, mind you, it is a little bit messy, but it's just a little bit of sugar. It's easy to clean, what can it hurt? And when the results are this cute, how could you not? want to. Well guys, that's it for today. I really hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, you know what to do. Hit that big thumbs up button and leave me lots of love in the comment section too and if you haven't done so already and you enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you receive a notification every time I post a new video. Thanks for watching guys. Bye bye.